people of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People 7 on Twitter and YouTube, People elsewhere on the internet, and my blog is located at purplebutterfly com. And I've gotten several requests on House of Soap been going, so I figure I update you. I couldn't find my 7 Up Cake fragrance oil. I figured that's God's way of saying, hey, sit down, take a break, you haven't eaten today. I open the refrigerator, I find this. This is a 16 ounce container of chicken soup, um, Campbell's, I believe it is, you know, the kind with the rice and all that. But it was in my missing soaping bowl. Why would someone put 16 ounces of soup in a six cup container? <laughs> So, of course, I found a more size-appropriate bowl, put it in there, stuck it back in the refrigerator, washed out my soap bowl, and now I'm going to get busy. Hold on. Yeah, put that back in there. Doing what I do. Now, in the meantime, what I had did, oh, that's a little liquidy, that I, I melted the soap in several batches like that making sure that I evenly blended the cocoa butter and the oatmeal soaps together along with the grapeseed oil. They now have a third cup of distilled water in there because, okay, most of us will tell you the soap don't get hard till you add oils. Well, if you're using a base, you know, they assume that you're adding oil, the water's already in there. Well, if you're using a base, the oils and everything's in there, the water isn't. So until the water hits the mix, it's not going to get hard then either. So I figured I'd just make a, you know, base that I could remelt at a later time, re-slab them, chop them up again. That way I know those two bases are completely blended together. Then I found my bowl. So now what I'm going to do is chop it up once they um, harden a little bit and put them all in that bowl and melt them down all at once then separate out the frosting and get back to doing what's normal for me. Because this bowl, which is why I set it out, will hold six cups of whatever all at once. And if you don't want to use it all at once, then guess what? comes with a top. This gladware is microwavable, so forth and so on. You can even stick it in a dishwasher, and it's cheap. So usually when stuff gets ghost on you, you don't care. It only costs three bucks for four of them. But come on now. If you see I set stuff out in a certain pattern and you know I make soaps on the weekend, why would you bother any of that? And really, why would you even want to put soup in there knowing I make soap in that bowl? Do you really want to trust eating that food <laughs> that's got soap traces in it if you didn't wash it out completely or whatever? Really? See, I think they did that on purpose. But I ain't going to let that bother me because God is in my corner. And if I stay still, he fights my battles. So I ain't going to worry about it. And <laughs> see, there you go. I just found my 7-Up Pound Cake fragrance oil. And since I am technically taking a break, I will take this opportunity to eat something because it just occurred to me I haven't today. So that's the update. The next time you see me, it will be after I pour the soaps in the mold and let them uh, set up a little bit and put the frosting on. Y'all stay blessed. Bye now.